Praise be Mary and her son Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. My name is Brother Nicholas Mary Divine, and I am a passionist. And I come to you today as a, a boy who grew up in a, a little town in Holyoke, Massachusetts, in the western hills of ski country, from a traditional parish and school. And I attended the University of Massachusetts and was sort of a, a normal kid. And one day at the university, a Jesuit came to see us and to visit. And it was even there that I started to think about religious life. And I approached the Jesuit a little nervous, sweat coming from my brow. And I said, Father, I'm very much interested in a vocation. And he asked me a couple of questions and he said, Son, I think God is calling you to be a construction worker. So there I thought that my chance to, for religious life was over. So I started in our family business of a diner and a bowling alley and a 21 table pool hall. Just regular blue collar folks. And then God called me to be a high school teacher for the next 18 years. And then September 11th happened. And I took eight years off from teaching to join the United States Army. And after those eight years, I saw a lot of things and came, came back home. And God called me to go down to Alabama and to teach in the Passionist High School. And four years later, they got me. And I entered the Passionist when I was the age of 44. So it took over 30 years to answer God's call and to become a Passionist. This was part of God's plan. But enough about me. We want to thank you members of the Promotions Committee, to thank you for all that you are and all that you do for God's glory and for Holy Name Passionist Retreat Center. Confession time. I grew up in a Polish-American neighborhood and I used to sing in a polka, polka band. And I loved to listen to Polish records. In fact, all sorts of vinyl records. In fact, here's one right now. Is, is the sound of music. Now, let's think about who, who starred as Maria in the original cast, on the Broadway cast, in The Sound of Music. Julie Andrews. Well, in the original Broadway cast, it was actually Mary Martin. And tell you the truth, I love to listen to vinyl records. But you know something? Without a needle, a shiny needle, this the glorious music on this record does not play. We cannot appreciate the music. And for the Retreat Center, you are that shiny needle that helps the music to play and to get the Retreat, the retreat Center going, and there are Retreat Center. You are that important shiny needle so that the glorious music can play. Our theme for this new retreat season comes to us from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 4, and where St. Peter, the Vicar of Christ, uh, said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. And it's entitled, The, the Paradox. In the wake of the pandemic and the political and social unrest and challenges of our day, we can take comfort in St. Peter's word, Lord, it is good for us to be here. As Peter was given the privilege of seeing Christ in radiant glory upon Mount Tabor, this glorious event of the Transfiguration is right between the middle of two predictions of Christ's passion. For glory comes only after crucifixion. Authentic happiness is understood when we experience and understand suffering. We know now that COVID is a reality. 
Evil is a reality. Suffering is a reality. But we also understand that good and purpose come from suffering. In other words, we cannot re have redemption without suffering. We cannot have the resurrection without the crucifixion. You know, the divine office that we passionists pray and, and on the entire Christian church prays, there is one prayer that I, I always look forward to at night prayer, and it says, the night is hard and violent, but with dawn comes the glory. Life is not easy. Life is full of suffering. And yet, through reflection and prayer and understanding and discernment and growing in relationship with God, all the things that we do while on retreat, we can be able to echo the very words of St. Peter, Lord, it is good for us to be here. You know, one of my favorite quotes of St. Paul of the Cross is, that it takes the sharpest tools to make fit the marble statue for the Grand Gallery. We have many sharp tools in our life. Suffering and labor and work and struggle and self-denial. But it is these things that bring about a joyous and glorious transformation as St. Peter experienced on that day on Mount Tabor to the mountaintop. Thank you so much for helping us, for being that shiny, important needle that the glorious music may be heard. And this year, through your efforts, maybe just somebody in one of the parishes who really needs to hear the glorious music of our Lord Jesus Christ might be because of, of you, um, through your visit and talking with them. So thank you so very much, and may the passion of Jesus Christ and the sorrows of Mary be always in our hearts.